Good morning, my friends. Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. That's right, folks. In addition to being a monk, a yogi, and a meditation teacher, quite clearly, I'm a fashion victim. A good-hearted fellow wrote me asking about the Hindu practice of Kriya Yoga. There is some confusion as Kriya Yoga is one of the lower Buddhist tantras as well as a Hindu tantric practice. Today we're going to discuss the Hindu tantric practice. Now there is nothing wrong with Taoism or Hinduism or Buddhism, but there are three different paths with three different premises, three different sets of means, and three different goals. There's nothing wrong with marinara sauce, there's nothing wrong with um, banana bread. But if you try to make banana bread using a recipe for marinara sauce, you're going to be disappointed with the results. In Hindu Kriya Yoga, we spend a great deal of time focusing on subtle energy pathways, the energy itself, and sometimes drops, but not very often. Doing such things I can suspend thoughts, can make us feel temporarily blissful. And if that is your goal, if your goal is to stop thinking, and if your goal is to feel great bliss, you may enjoy that practice. However, it is not what Buddha taught. Buddha did not teach that humans are not enlightened because of a bliss deficiency. Buddha did not teach that humans are enlightened because we think too damn much. The only text that I really rely on as a Buddhist meditation teacher is Buddha's larger discourse upon the four bases of mindfulness. I gave it the nickname Buddha's larger meditation manual. In Pali, it is known as the Maha Sati Patana Sutta. The basic thrust of the book is this notice what comes up, explore what comes up, relax into what comes up. The implied message of the book is flow with what. Whatever you notice, if something pleasurable comes up, work with that. If something painful comes up, work with that. If something simple comes up, work with that. If something complex comes up, work with that. The book, the manual, is not designed to get us into a state of bliss or to get us to stop thinking. It's to help us master the path of noticing, relaxing, and flowing. That is the path the Buddha described as being the path to nirvana, as being the means of purification. When I first read it many decades ago, I was disappointed. I was horrified and disgusted. I wanted magic. I wanted bliss. I wanted to be able to levitate. I wanted to be like a bald-headed uh, character in a video game. I most certainly did. And so you can imagine how disappointed I was with the pragmatic instructions of the Maha Satipatthana Sutta. I explored every sect of Buddhism and many sects of Taoism and some sects of Buddhism. After many years and much practice, I've come to ali uh, align my perspective with that described in the Maha Satipatthana Sutta. Having tried and worked with and mastered many sets of techniques, I found that that which is most effective for human evolution, for 
physical, intellectual, and emotional and spiritual well-being is the simple method of mindfulness, insight, and spontaneity endorsed by the author of the Mahasatipatthana Sutta as well as that of the Tao Te Ching. If you choose to practice Hindu Kriya Yoga, the choice is yours. One of my teachers palled around with a bunch of senior monks from Padmahasa Yogananda's Kriya, Kriya Yoga organization. And after decades of practice, by their own confession, they were still puzzled as to what enlightenment was and they were unsure if they would ever get there. On the other hand, Buddha taught, or the author of the Mahasatipatthana Sutta concludes the text by saying that full enlightenment is possible by practicing just its methods. In less than seven years, or seven months, or seven weeks, or even seven days. Find someone who can help you, a liberal practitioner who can help you. If you have questions, please address them to me specifically in the commentary below. I'll do my best to get back to them in a timely manner. The Tuesday series of uh, weekly meditation classes begins just in a day or two. You can participate in person if you live in or near LA County or over a live webinar simulcast. Register for either one by using the links that can be found when you click the show more button. How much do I charge? It's by donation. Some give nothing. Some give as much as they would to attend a yoga class. Some give as much as they would spend in a night on the town. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Bye-bye now.